Hello. <clears throat> I hope that your um, Sunday is going good. Let me get everything ready. So, <clears throat> because I still have a few things to put where they belong, I didn't get back to finishing everything that I need for those two lives in which we kind of are floating somewhere. <laughs> But I, uh, as I said, I don't promise because I learned that things can happen. But I sure hope that this will be the last uh, impromptu, you know, hi Robin, live with a different theme before we are able to finish those ones. Um, anyway, because I have posted on uh, my... Uh, on the F Kalyana Facebook page, I have shared from way behind uh, some photos of little, and I'm going to show you on the screen, of little, I call them little goddesses uh, that I was using, making years and years ago. And um, they were very successful. They were selling really good at the uh, fairs and online, and I was getting a ton of commissions for them. And the thing is that uh, they are not very hard to make. And uh, quite a bit of people either commented on what I um, um, shared or they sent me... Um, no, I'm trying to get this here. Or they sent me um, requests of doing a tutorial about them. So this was a forest little goddess. And I didn't take photos of all of them, of course. I just posted a few. Uh, this one, and I didn't have a good camera at the time. <laughs> you can see it's 2012. This was a sea goddess. This was another sea goddess. This was a weeping willow. This was a Quan Yin. And a Luna Moth. And I think that, yeah, this is it. So, um, yeah, I decided to show you how to make all of these. Hi, Francis. Hi, Laura. Hi, Millie. Hi, Marilyn, Deborah, Sonia, and Jennifer and Elaine. Um, now, what I want to tell you, uh, you can see that it's written on the scrolling text that goes on top of the screen. And uh, the ladies that you will see with a little wrench near their name are my wonderful sponsors who have uh, uh, graciously offered to help me uh, moderate the chat because I cannot have my eyes on the chat all the time of course because I'm looking at what I'm making and you've seen how in the past the chat uh, has gotten out of control so be aware that uh, they have the fork and the knife so to speak in the chat uh, hi Judy hi Mary so uh, what I was using primarily the I was using the crappiest mold that I have ever worked with and this is the Sculpey faces mold and don't get me wrong Sculpey got much better it is very possible because I've had this oh gosh uh, 10 years I don't know not long after they first came out on the market uh, so it is possible that in the meantime the newer ones are way better quality but I know that I had a lot to fight with these ones because they the clay even with the release agents uh, the clay would still uh, pretty much cling I would have little bits and pieces that would stay in the mold and anyway hi Kimba awesome hi Nasreen um, but I wasn't leaving them as is. I was also kind of enhancing them. If you remember, I did at one point um, a live on how to, m to make different type uh, goddess pendants using this time the faces of the best flexible molds. Um, 
faces but i'll show you how to do these and why i say use these ones not the we'll we'll make a few with the best flexible molds but you'll see the difference hi mj hi anna you'll see the difference these ones look cuter and actually i've been looking especially for this kind for this stuff and i will be once i find them i will make probably another standalone tutorial not alive because i've seen that there are some um, asian maybe not necessarily chinese uh, face molds that look super cute but i haven't found yet one with closed eyes and you really need the closed eyes because the idea is that um you want let me get it again here you want this uh, really delicate you want to obtain this really delicate smile it's like they are kind of sleeping and smiling in their sleep or just smiling with their eyes closed so you want them to look cute and delicate and uh, they don't look like that with their eyes open trust me i tried and this is how i decided to go with this one and oh that's good mary uh and the thing is that um uh, yes you can sculpt them separately but if you want to make them for sale you need something that uh, would allow you to uh, you know make them faster because you're going to put already quite a bit of work in the decorations now i'm going to make several faces and you'll see the difference because here you have more like on this side you have more like moon faces and on this side, uh, they are more uh, teardrop shaped faces. Another thing, and I totally recommend you to not use another uh, clay with them. Of course you can try, but I can tell you again from experience that they will not, the faces will not look as delicate. Hi, Chris. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Carol. Oh my God. Carol, I am so sorry. Do you have where to go? I hope everybody's sorry. I know that uh, I saw Alison Merritt, the um, Think Outside the Box artist. She's also, she's on the other side of the peninsula, but by, un but by what I understood. But still, I mean, it's... And I could see that uh, as it goes like this, even when it's reaching uh, South Carolina, kind of like the border between Georgia and South, South Carolina, that's the forecast, says that that's when it's going to change from a major hurricane to a regular hurricane. And by what I saw, the forecasts say that all the way up to New York, it's going to still be a hurricane. So gosh it is so horrible so horrible and i'm thinking now of the people of the bahamas because they are getting hit straight on by category five and you saw they say that by the time it reaches florida it's gonna go back to a category four which is still not a happy thing but still it's four not five and I couldn't help thinking of all the poor animals. You, I don't know if you read, but they... Uh, hold on, there's just a second. At the wildlife uh, rescue, they released most of the animals that were close already or close to release. Hi, JC. Uh, they released them in the wild already. But it's horrible and I cannot forget how many animals get left behind.
Okay, as I'm not uh, sculpting a doll, uh, it's the living doll. Uh, and this is just for the faces. Unfortunately, it only comes in the one pound, but it's like 12 bucks or something like that. And this is the ivory, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, because I know I always use the lightest one. It comes in three colors. It is the baby. So you want to get a light one. Uh, you can go on a darker one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not racist <laughs> here. It's just the fact that if you use a darker clay, uh, the features of the face won't come out so uh, so good. Hi, Fran. So the best thing, if you don't want to get any kind of creases, the best thing to do is to make first, make sure that your uh, clay is fairly well conditioned. Uh, one thing that you need to be aware of, uh, you'll always have a little bit of uh, raggedy ends. Don't put too much if it gets a little bit harder. Um, don't use too much clay softener on it because you want it to be still a little bit firm so that uh, it will hold details real good. So first of all, make a good bead until you don't notice any more uh, folding lines. And I didn't do lately my <laughs> my filing because I'll be talking about that in uh, as I'm going to start catching up, hopefully. Uh, it's the issue about leaving fingerprints. As uh, I said before in several uh, lives, um, only when absolutely necessary I would use uh, nitrile gloves or finger cuts because I had uh, axillary lymph node dissection and I have to avoid any kind of constriction on my hands because otherwise I can get uh, lymphedema. And the other thing is that uh, with arthritis, it can get painful when the hand is constricted. So in order not to leave uh, fingerprints, I gently file off some of my fingerprint, not completely. I can still get fingerprinted because I don't want to get in trouble with the law, but I get most of the fingerprints. So that way I don't leave uh, fingerprints. Yeah, but trust me, because it's so small, uh, it doesn't look that good. I tried, and I didn't even try with something very dark. I tried just with the Super Sculpey that gets a little bit darker when baking it, and it still didn't uh, didn't do very good. You can try. I mean, try it. The only way that you can do it is if you make it on black and you highlight with uh, metal powder. But otherwise, it kind of gets lost. Okay, then I'm go I'm putting armor all on half of the ball. I'm placing it on the mold. And then I'm going to press with my acrylic block. And then... See, you do not want the, that's what I was saying, you do not want the um, longish face and at least not the uh, larger one. The ones that I always used, and sometimes I would use, there's an open eyes here too, but you, you can easily get the eyes closed simply by... Let me get actually a little bit less in the bowl. Simply by uh, sculpting a little bit, not a lot. But I'll show you the differences between all these and which of them you want to use and which you don't. So, this one is a good one if you close the eyes. And the eyes are quite easy to close. It, she doesn't look very pretty 
when you first get it out of the mold but you'll see that you can make it looking absolutely the sweetest thing possible yeah i have i don't know if you were on when i showed my i was clay doodling one day i was watching something and i made the teddy bear miniature teddy bear and i usually keep it here so give me just a second to get it out it's my teddy bear it's a teddy bear he's under an inch he's like three quarters of an inch i had just had some leftovers <laughs> and i made it so talking about miniatures okay and then is this one <coughs> this one i was using the most but i will show you on uh, how to make all of them this one and this one this one you don't even want to try because it looks like a drunk monk or something not even a buddhist monk just a drunk monk She is horrible. Look at this. She looks horrible. But this one is really cute after a bit of sculpting and uh, sculpting and this one is really cute. Because if you don't put anything it's going to stick on the maybe I should buy a new one. As I said, maybe they are not as bad anymore. And the thing you cannot do with them is uh, trim the extra. So you kind of have to see this is the best suited for what you're trying to do. <laughs> I hear you, Doris. So you have to first find your uh, proper amount. And this you can do by, you know, getting a... Um, strip and then cutting pieces once you find your proper amount and i'll show you how you can do that how i used to do it so first of all this one still has some alcohol ink first of all try repeatedly with different amounts of clay so this is still too much I'm going to take a little bit less it's okay if it's a little bit pushed in it's going to be fine. But put it in as much as you can to cover all the features, all the edges of the mold. So this should be okay because you're going to put a little bit of backing on it. So this is pretty much good. Maybe it's just a pinch too much, but it's pretty much okay. So we have this. Now, if we have this, I'm going to try and get it first through the pasta machine on the thickest setting. And as you can see, it's pretty much a square inch right so i have the the clay run through the pasta machine on the thicker setting and i am simply If you don't have a, a marked mat, you can simply measure with a ruler. Uh, 
I'm doing like this because the blade is not long enough to do the whole thing. No, I can't do it. Total. And by gently uh, sculpting them, you also get to, um, to make them not all the same. Hi, Walking Pure Heart. No, I didn't make a tutorial on the little beer. <laughs> I did not. Hold on, I need to turn the AC a little bit down. Okay, it can get very hot near the big desktop. Because of all the fans. No, this armor roll is the best thing to use as release agent for everything. This is a um, Tim Holtz, I think, Matt. It's in the it's in the tools. Let me check in my Amazon influencer store. And just that it they don't always have it available. Give me just a think I think it's in the tools one thing I could never work on was the makings one let me see yes and it's very large There you go. Scroll down in the mats area, and there are some that are cheaper. I wouldn't because it's very hard to slice off stuff after it's baked. It's practically impossible to do a good job. So just do like this and you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm using this one because it doesn't have glare. I actually got recently, a couple weeks ago, I got a marble tile from Lowe's, but I didn't get around to put it here. Uh, I just want, I'm going to start switching them and use this black one only when I do canes. No, it is glass. It's not... Uh, anything else it is glass and it's got a section here to put stuff and to put under this you can put all kinds of pictures if you need to look at stuff thank you yes i'm trying to have them and i'm happy that now they allow us to organize stuff because it was a mess before so now i can have them organized not only by departments, but also by brands and types and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I got all of them uh, fairly without folding lines. And I'm going to gently flatten them a little bit. Okay, this one I didn't do well. It still had folding line. Okay. 
And yeah, if you didn't know of my Amazon store, I got all kinds of stuff there. And there you go, here's the link. And as I said, I'm spending usually about two hours a week to get to make sure that everything is updated because sometimes prices change. change. Sometimes a seller would put in another uh, item under the same uh, listing number. And you're like, what the heck? I thought I put gold leaf here, not hedge trimmer. So I always have to go in and check everything. Sometimes things are not available and not just not available, but it's like we don't think it's going to ever be here anymore. You know, so that's why I need to spend time to make sure that everything is. And then I always look for new things and new prices and all that. And I will make, yes, I will make uh, at least one in here too, so you can see how you can, uh, okay, I lifted it. And see, that's the other thing, it kind of goes kaboom. Down, it's not very sturdy, the mold. Hi, Janice. Uh, living doll of Sculpey. Okay, why don't I just put it here so people can see it if they come in later. Let me just put it here so it would be visible. There we go. I'm still recovering from yesterday. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed yesterday. There's this friend that told me, oh, whenever you need something, whenever you blah, tell me and I'll come help. And I said, because initially I was planning to do that cat tree, you know, section by section, knowing how hard it is to. Uh, so I told her, well, if you can, uh, I really need to do the cat tree. So why don't you come sun Saturday? And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're the only one, Judy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so my friend came, I made something for lunch and blah, blah, blah. We started, we got the tree laying on the floor and started uh, ripping off the old sisal and the destroyed carpet and everything. And after about five, no, 10 minutes, she gets up and she's like, Oh, well, I guess I'm going to go home and see how my hubby is doing and how. Okay. So, yeah, because the whole thing was already ripped and already messed up, I had to toughen it up, take an extra pill, pain pill, and just finish it. Yeah, it was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting that from my friend. Because as, as I said, I wouldn't have started doing it if I knew that I was going to have to finish it by myself. I would have done it, as I said, in sections. So I'm still suffering a bit from yesterday's unexpected workout. And uh, that cat tree is fairly sturdy. It was a very, very good quality one. So everything there was stapled, glued, nailed. So there was a lot of work to get everything out. Okay, I'm gonna make the last two with this one. And it would be so much better if this thing wouldn't wilt. Because then I could use the roller like for other. But this is because it's hollow in here. It's not full like other molds. Okay, now let's do these ones. 
It really hurts my finger. As I said, this is the worst mold I've ever, ever worked with. Just make sure that you do not go over, especially on the sides and on the top of the head. It's okay to go over, but not on the uh, chin line. And all the way up to here, you kind of need to follow the... Okay, so now let's start sculpting a little bit and I'm going to put them directly on uh, mirrors. And yes, these you can find in the store and you can also find them in uh, Trishy's store in Polyclay Play. Okay, let me grab my readers and have some polymer clay fingerprints on them okay so let me get this a little bit zoomed in And you know that my most favorite uh, sculpting tool is from the set of wax carvers, and you can find them in the sculpting tools area of my store. And they're only like 10 bucks for a full set of, I don't know, there are 12, 14, something like this. But it's this specific one that I use the most as a sculpting tool. And then you also need the come out come out wherever you are oh it's here the gum cleaner for the nostrils so you first you first close the eyes simply by gently getting this down the lid And then you kind of reinforce the lid here. And you want to bring it a bit up because we are talking about a smiling face. And get the other end and gently soften it. Just make sure that it's nice and round. The same for the other eye. Now, if you want to make the mouth a little bit opened, you can go in here. And then gently insert the 
blade of this and gently lift and then push also the bottom of the lip up a little bit make a little dimple and then with this I'm going to reinforce the nostrils a little and then make her smile better and for this you put the tip of the gum cleaner here and gently push in right at the corner of the mouth and see she is, has this beautiful thank you hi victoria i'm okay okay let me see yeah I, i bake on the mirror or on tiles so this would be one now let's do the other the other one a little bit different and you see i did have a little crack here but that's fine because i'm going to cover it with some hair here so as i said everything that's here you don't want the edge messed up so again i'm going to close the eyes first can you see it yeah you can just by bringing down the clay and then reinforce the eyelid Soften it up on the other end. And here I'm going to make it her a little bit different. So I'm going to flatten her eye a little bit. Make it not as arched. bringing the lid even more down and then reinforce again the So this one will look like she's looking down, not uh, actually having her eyes fully closed. Then I'm going to reinforce the, I forgot how this is called. It's got a name, but I forgot it. Going to reinforce it and then go in the corners of the mouth and push the whole area this area in and open the mouth completely and then again getting the nostrils more natural and making her smile so put it at the corner of the lid and then push it in and if you want to enhance the smile you can also go a little bit like this and let's get the bottom lip a little bit more noticeable and there you go you can see that there are two different faces they are similar but not identical now let's get another see that I I didn't yes you can uh, yeah the smallest of touches will make a huge difference and with this one you can actually make even more um, different faces 
again you want to enhance the eyelid And because the eyelid here is already closed, you don't have to soften it or anything. And I'm going on this one, I'm going to not uh, work on pretty much almost anything else, just slightly enhance the lips, I mean the parted lips here. Then again work the nostrils and give her a very delicate smile it's a little dreamy goddess I don't know what this is here and I'll show you in a second something else that you can do on them let's do another one yeah, I know, you can see me in the mirror. Yeah, these are actually not dental implement tools. They are um, wax carvers. At least that's what they are marketed as. Some of them do like dental tools, do look like dental tools, but not all of them. Okay, let make sure it's well established on the... And see here, I have a little extra... Come on, stay there. So again, this time I'm going to make her looking a little bit more oriental. I'm going to lift the eyelid at the side, at the corner of the eye. And I'm going to make the mouth a little bit smaller, tinier, narrower, and more bud-like. And for this, I'm going to do this. Lift at the edges, from the edges in. from the edge up and press and then the lower lip goes a little up now comes this tool going first to enhance the thing here then the nostrils And let's give her a more of a sad smile. So this time I go in and then slightly down. See, they are similar, but not identical. Let's do another pair. I'm not gonna make all, all, all of them. I think six should be enough. So let me just get the ones that came up the best. You might have to repeat on some of them. Oh yes, and I'll show you because now we are going to make put on the colors before baking. Okay, now let's get this one and make her a little bit different. First of all, I'm going to make her face a little narrower. And if you click like this, her cheeks will come forward. See how she is much more narrower than these ones. Right? And then I'm going to, again, enforce the lid closure. I'm 
going to flatten here on the eyebrow arch and then with the ball stylus just make the eye a little bit more in here and deeper okay hi toots and here I'm going to just enhance the corners of the mouth not the whole mouth and gently bring the lip out up a little bit again just put it like this and turn it up nostrils and a delicate smile and because you don't want all of them to have the same exact uh, expression and face now this one let's make it a little bit more anime type so I'm going to kind of make her chin a little bit more pointy Oops. oh goodness Victoria it is early for you and I'm going to bring the eyebrows even higher than they are and again the eyelids And on the mouth and I should show you I'll show you on one that I'm not making uh, the trick with the sad face that you can make it also look a little bit sadder and again I'm going to enhance this but I'm going to make the mouth very tiny I'm separating the lips, bringing the upper lip very high, making the lower lip tiny. And then the nostrils. and the smile so this time I'm going to go in and up in and up again a completely different face now I said I was going to show you how to do the sad face for the sad face again you of course you do the eyelid like this sad smiling face it's actually but then you go a little bit okay not this one and this one you go a little bit like this very faint very very faint you make a little circle under the eye and she's going to look sad 
and then when you do the corners you get them pretty much downwards so this is a fairly sad face and older so you can play with this with all kinds of uh, get this out of the way and let me grab some chalk pastels you can use pan pastels that um, let me check if I have a pink that doesn't have a lot of shine yeah I have a pink so we'll be able to see both uh, remember I told you when you use chalk, chalk pastels always look for the soft kind unfortunately this kind is not made anymore it was my most favorite of all and Connor is here he's visiting what you doing gorgeous you got an itch you got an itch hello I know I didn't pay enough attention to you. He's so fuzzy. He's so fuzzy. Delicious. I know. Okay. Shoo, shoo. Mama's busy. I'm busy. No, I'm busy. I know you don't care, but you need to go. okay so as i was saying unfortunately these don't they don't make them anymore it was a wonderful brand wonderful wonderful so i'm going to use a little bit of uh, which of them let me use this because I don't want to use a lot okay and let's try another this fuchsia <laughs> I still say fuchsia I don't care that was a hint hint to somebody <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get a small brush and then start putting a little bit of blush on their faces. You don't want to put a lot, so grab very little on your if you're using a red not a pink grab very little on your paintbrush and for these goddesses you kind of want to do the more childish brush not the uh, contouring type and again grab very little on the brush and you can even use a little bit here that will be fine now let's do some pan pastel on this one. Yes, this one is a little, um, it's got a little bit of mica in it, but 
it's fine because they end up quite sparkly anyway yes I'm going to come with another paintbrush to remove to lift some of that And you want to make it quite natural, not be in two big spots of color. These are the Goldilocks paint brushes from Tiny Pandora. No, Kano always wants attention. He's got uh, food at all times. They are free feeders. Yes, it's the same type of dry brushing that you use with one of a kind uh, dolls. And yeah, you can use including uh, cosmetic blush. You don't have to go for expensive stuff. You can use cosmetic blush without a problem there we go we got the blush on all of them now for the other stuff what I always recommend is for the lips to actually use a marker yes there are and you kind of want a thinner one not as thick as this one is but I forgot where I have my markers and I don't want to go start looking for them I didn't think about it earlier and uh, as I said this is the easiest way and I'll show you how to do it with acrylics I already have a pretty face yeah, let me grab an acrylic paint But for this, you need a super, super thin brush. Let me see where I have it. And there we go. Absolutely, everything can be covered up or something. Oops. So you don't really need to use water with this, only when you're going to clean your brush. Make sure your brush is nice and soft, but as I said, it has to be a very, very thin one. I have this brush for details, and I have even thinner ones somewhere in my paintings supplies. You only want a paint a little dab of color on the bottom usually
I'm amazed my hands haven't twitched yet. And yes, I know they do have a little bit of a Japanese feel to them. But that was the whole idea. Yeah, you can use pink instead of red. I just grabbed whatever was closest. At, uh, I think that Trish has it. Let me check. I don't think I put it in my Amazon store. Let me check on Poly Play Play. Uh, you can find it at Hobby Lobby and Michael's most likely. Hold on. I'm gonna put my, them on my wish list so I can get them later. Maybe they're not on anymore. They're not for sale anymore. No, polyclay plate doesn't help them. Let me check. Maybe they don't make them anymore. Huh. I don't think so, though. I know that I've seen them at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. don't even remember how they were called. I just put scalpy faces molds. I just put scalpy mold. Because if they are called differently, I'm not going to find them like this. trying to find them in Hobby Lobby now it's a lot of stuff no they don't maybe they don't make them anymore I will make sure to find someone uh, I wasn't aware that they aren't anymore on. Maybe I'll I'll um, I promise you I'll make it a project to find uh, molds that are suitable for this and uh, put them in the mold section in the store. Cuz it shouldn't be that hard. I messed up a corner of the mouth here. I wonder why they stopped. Probably they got too many uh, complaints about them. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. They are such a poor quality. Send me the link, Judy, please. 
on a steel because I couldn't find them real quick on Amazon I don't think I have them in the store I'm not sure though because until this whole goddesses thing came up I didn't want to recommend them knowing that they are so bad I mean you saw how bad they are when you're trying to to get a mold in and they go uh, flattened up yeah why don't you put a oh my god 29 yeah send me the link and I'll get it in my how is it cold okay hold on Judy sent it to me Oh, art doll. Hold on. That's why I couldn't uh, find it. Give me just a minute. No, see, it doesn't come up for me. But yeah, this is it. Still looks quite... It's important. I'm gonna ask for a notification let's see if there is in the recommended because see I found as I said I found some but I have to order them to work with them because remember what I was telling you about the sugar craft molds Okay, so jo Joanne has them. And I told you, uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael should have them too. It's just probably they don't link properly. Yeah, but the baby doll is not like this. The baby doll is different. Okay, your last thing that you want to do. Let me see if I have one here. No, not this one and always make sure that it is a permanent or a laundry marker and this will not work very good because it's too thick there are some permanent markers that are very very thin might have to go in the kitchen hold on a second i'll be right back Okay, you want this kind of Sharpie and you kind of want to, yeah, it should be on Sculpey website. Let me see. Not boats.
on the Sculpey website, I don't see it. Can you put up the link because I cannot find the uh, on the sculpey.com website. In the molds they don't have it. Yes, uh, th that's what I was going to show. Uh, uh, there are these sharpies that are have two heads. Yes, as long as it's a permanent and these ones that have like two heads, uh, they have one that is very, very thin. And this is something you always want to have in your house for in your craft room because you can do all kinds of uh, flowers on a cabochon, all kinds of things, but you want it to be very, very thin. And then when you put on the eyebrows, you can leave them without eyebrows if you want, or you can do it with a very thin um, uh, paintbrush on brown. Brown would be much less uh, accessible. You cannot really find brown markers very easily. But yeah, any permanent ink would work. So, and, But this one you can do it. Actually, I'm going to do it after I bake it because it I might have to press too hard but you can do it let me grab a brown okay and I need water for this one because these ones you want them a little washed off So this is a burnt umber. And I got some color on my paintbrush, but I'm going to kind of clean it off. want a little bit on the very top. And very careful with the eyebrows because they can destroy the whole face if you get them wrong. something like this or you can just uh, as I said leave them without eyebrows they will still be fine let's see oh there's one on Etsy let me get you the link on Etsy just for 10 bucks if it will let me if not I might have to no, it did let me. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. But yeah, I'll look some more for this. And if I find anything, I will uh, update. Okay. Now this can go in the oven. So give me just a minute here to put this in the oven 
And in the meantime, we shall make some... Uh, I don't know. We shall make some of the elements. To embellish them. You know what, actually, I think I'm going to continue this uh, Wednesday because I'm starting to get uh, wet pain from my back. I've been on for over an hour. And we'll finish the, the goddesses completely because by then they will be baked. I hope you don't mind too much. That's my remember. I usually cannot be on for more than an hour. And if I wouldn't have had to do that uh, cat tree yesterday, it would have been better. But I'm still recovering from it. So I promise you I will do this uh, Wednesday. I will continue it Wednesday and I'll try to do it at around, uh, I don't know, five? let's say 6 30 central time because that way a lot of people will be home if they work so hi karen again you always miss me you always come at the end uh but yeah let's uh, get it for wednesday at 6 30 i'll actually schedule it and uh We'll finish the goddesses, and in the meantime, I'll get the for twenty. That's a little. That's too much. That's too much. No, 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 Elaine, don't get it for twenty. The I think Trish has it for way less. Hold on. Give me a minute. Yeah, it's $14 at Trish. And she has all three colors. And there you go. Yeah, I will feel better. The The thing is that I kind of overextended my back because I, I had to keep uh, bending and pulling and stuff. So my... Uh, my back was really bad but yeah you want to get either baby or light of all three this is the light yes i usually prefer the baby because it's more delicate light i used to use it only when i was making fairies and mermaids of a very light color but uh, the baby would be the best for this kind of stuff. And then Wednesday, I'll already have a few prepared. So to put them together. And then we'll make some on the spot. And I'll, told, I'll show you how to put everything together to obtain a, a good looking uh, little goddess. Okay. And okay. Have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll see you all Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Goodbye and happy clean.